Oh, hi. Just doing some candid photography. Welcome back. You know, I spend most of my time sourcing the finest and freshest news shard, the most topical wild-caught salmon and organic comedy garnishes, portioning them out perfectly into single-serve recyclable packages and carefully nestling them into an elegantly designed laminated box with a trial-tested logo complete with perfect kerning to ship off the gourmet bourgeois meal kit that is my monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, I like to fill a bowl with some stale Lucky Charms, throw in the cold, sweaty fries from last night's takeout burger, shake the Triscuit dust out of the box and toss in the loose flavor packet from an instant ramen to serve up the nutritionally deficient college freshman hangover stew of news that is my segment. <laughs> Quarantine while. Quarantine while. Yesterday, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame announced its 2021 induction class, including legends like Carol King, Todd Rundgren, Tina Turner, and friend of the show, LL Cool J. That is fantastic. I mean, LL has not released an album in a long time, so that is quite... Don't call it a comeback! <laughs> I was going to say achievement. Quarantine while. Sometimes I like to bring you news about things that can't possibly go wrong, so I'm happy to report that Animal Rescue has released 1,000 feral cats into Chicago streets to combat the city's rat problem. Or as it'll soon be known, the city's cat problem. <laughs> Here's how it works. Animal Rescue spays or neuters the cats and then releases them back outside to serve as rodent control. That's a bold pitch. Uh, first, I'm gonna cut off your balls. <laughs> then... You do me a favor. <laughs> this is all part of the city's program, Cats at Work, because if there is one thing I associate <laughs> with an animal who sleeps 20 hours a day, it's work. <laughs> Quarantine while. This next story involves some language that's going to be bleeped for you at home, but let's just say it's a combination of butt and the naughty word for a sexual act, all of which rhymes with nut trucker. Here we go. <laughs> In Michigan, a judge ripped a defendant who logged into a court Zoom with a butt 3000 username. In defending himself, the man said he had no idea how that became his username, but did admit it's the pairing name for his Bluetooth speaker. Okay. That explanation only raises many more questions. Just how are you pairing with your Bluetooth speaker? Quarantine while. South Korean couples are wooing each other with Tesla stocks, exchanging stocks instead of chocolates and flowers. Because nothing says romance like volatile share prices that hang on the word of an eccentric billionaire who dances like a malfunctioning Roomba. <laughs> this trend started last year when a brokerage and investment banking company allowed people to buy stock gift cards for each other. And pretty soon, among young daters, Tesla was the most bought stock for gift giving. And if you're someone who got your lover Tesla stock instead of a real gift, I have a feeling you're gonna be making love on autopilot. Quart, aw, aw, you want them to be having real sex, don't you? Do. You do, okay. Quarantine while. TikTok is testing a tool for brands to recruit employees. Brands can post jobs for primarily entry-level listings and then users post a TikTok video resume to the site rather than a traditional resume. So your HR department could look forward to hearing a lot of qualifications via ASMR. Hi, I have a BA in history from Skidmore. Special skills include... Shh. We'll be right back with Seth Rogen.